Hey everyone, Shin Virtuality back again with The Room 3. We had finished off the observatory last episode, and I believe that we are... We have almost everything that we need to sort of complete our quest through Greyholm. A uh, couple more things need to be done, but we should be able to wrap it up this episode, or at least I'm really hoping so, so let's continue on and uh, get things completed here. All right, and we're back from the observatory. Um, one thing that we needed to do, we need to get into that safe. So I believe this may be the key to doing so. Uh, yeah, there it goes. Yeah, okay. So this manipulates the pendulum. And we just got to get it rocking. Just a little bit. Whoa! There. <laughs> okay, Chime. I guess uh, that's one way to crack a safe. Uh, and it's a good thing we were up here to begin with, so we didn't have to go traversing through a lot of gray home. 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 Gray home. Down, please. All right. Let's head out to the central area. <gasps> oh my goodness, what a mess. August 11th, I woke up on the floor of the workshop again. The new box was on the table and I recall nothing of making it. Did I create any of them or only dream these creations? What is beyond doubt is that there is something guiding my hand. Who pulls the strings of the Puppet Master? I don't know, but thank you for the crystal. I believe it's the last one we need. Uh, actually... <laughs> I thought there was another um, Easter egg there, but there was not. Okay, we're going to get to the fountain in just a second. We need to complete off this crystal puzzle. All right, so you, her chunk. And now we have another one of these puzzles to manipulate, so... Uh, hopefully it doesn't take me too long. Oh, we got a guiding arrow, so at least that might make things a little bit easier. Uh, sure, why not? That's a wall. This thing, perhaps? And the 
mysterious artifact. All right, well, thank you for that. And now let's head out to the central chamber. So we got one, we got the final pyramid. Um, and this, this entry of the series holds multiple endings and we have all the equipment for said endings. So that's why I wanted to complete things off here before we progressed. Let's get this activated. Then there were five. Ooh! Performing magic! What do we got here? A D20? Uh, okay, well. Uh, the Craftsman's Key. Uh, okay. Oh. I guess we need a key to enter the door. Is probably where he went. <laughs> Ominous. It's like, this is your final chance, but uh, no, we're good. Oh, also, just in case, um, I'm not going to go into the room, but the grandfather clock, uh, it was meant to go off every 15 minutes of real time. So I just got lucky. <laughs> if you uh, noticed my sort of... Uh, uh, sort of not uh, not realizing on episode, I think it was six. Um, that's why. So, let's enter. Oh no! Oh! Ah! Here we are! Uh, hooray! So we have made it to this place! Alright, let's, let's start investigating. Craftsman key go up here. It do. It's a metal ring. Whatever shall I use it for? All right, there's a little plaque here. Do I even do anything here yet? Uh, I do not. All right, so... Do I use the middle ring here? I do. <sighs> Let's go... Aha, uh -huh, okay. Uh, so let's see... Yeah, I have a feeling that I just need to get... ...everything into position. Too far. 
her trunk. So how will we manipulate this? Uh, something tells me that this should go here. And that goes down and that, uh, that does something. pick that up. Uh, so what do we need a mirror for? Go through there. Uh, does the mirror go here? It do. It's almost seeming like we would need to raise this somehow. Uh, okay. Maybe that one. Okay, yeah, that shines into the craftsman's key. Something else. Oh, I see. All right. So if I that rotates, gotcha. Uh, okay. B need to lock these two that should do it I'm back where I started. Yay! Congratulations. You have found the center of my labyrinth. That may feel like a victory, but it leaves you farther from freedom. Freedom? But it leaves you farther from freedom than you have ever been. If it is any consolation, you were not the first, and you will be far from the last. Know that every single turn led you to this point. As you like puzzles so much, I have one final riddle for you. To occupy your eternity. What is the difference between a maze and a labyrinth. But how can I expect you to answer when you cannot tell a room from a prison? Happy Eternity, The Craftsman. Dun dun dun. With the ominous music. I'm on a train. I'm, I'm living. Oh, wait. 
This isn't where I want it to be. Congratulations, you've completed the room three for the first time and witnessed the aftermath of your actions. However, there are alternate endings for you to discover. You may, you can now use the change your fate button in the main menu to revisit Greyholm, only by using the mysterious artifacts hidden by the craftsmen Will you earn the power to alter your destiny? So yes, we've gotten the imprisoned ending. So So we have everything before we had entered the final puzzle room. Uh, so let's head back in there again and I'll show you guys what's needed for changing our fates. Okay, so we have these mysterious towers at this point. Uh, they are meant for these strange artifacts uh, that we have here. We have the square one and we have the star one, I guess you can call them. Uh, we're going to start with the square one first. Like before, open her up. I don't need hints. Is that it backwards? You powered the crystal. enter this door. Hello? Uh, no thanks. We don't need any tentacles. For that, I guess. Don't mess with Mr. Null then. Man. Bob Null, turning it locked. I must have poured over a thousand maps. Greyholm isn't just gone. It never existed. 
I sometimes doubt my sanity, and others are starting to agree with me. This quest can only land me in an asylum. No matter, I find curiosity has lessened its grip on me, and life's other interests are returning. Whatever it was that drew me is gone. I can sense it no longer, and I finally feel free. Was there ever a source of the null, or was it always just bait in the trap? I know now that I will never know, and that knowledge is a sweet, sweet joy. Not the craftsman. And we have just uncovered the escape ending. So let's head back and continue to find our way through. All right, and now at this point, we are going to uh, this time use the star artifact. Yes, I know. Uh, just to make sure we got the right artifact here. these puzzles it seems so we need to keep that locked hmm. keep those two uh. I don't need you right now Should do it. didn't we? don't know if this letter will reach you. I only know the warder will take my bride. You must come at once. When we opened the gateway, something was waiting. It had always been waiting. Now it is here. Soon we are doomed. I know you have no reason to trust me, but you must. You are the only one who can help. You are the only one who knows. You are the only one who will believe me. I am in Bethlehem. Find me. And there we have the release ending. Uh, so one last one to go.
So once you get to this point, as you can probably guess, if each of the separate artifacts give you a different ending, then perhaps using both of them will get you the last one. So let's do that. And we still have the screwdriver left to manipulate what exactly? this off and then push or did I do it wrong? I think I may have did it wrong again. Oh no, there we go. Okay, so you got to have both projectors running, but the one on the star shape artifact needs to be unhindered. So now through the door. Do we dare? Got to get us to Mars. All 
Actually, no, that was the uh, Null Planet, so that is the Lost Ending. 100% uh, complete, congratulations. You have discovered all the secrets within the walls of Greyholm, and have finally seen all the endings to The Room 3. Your dedication in this matter is most has been most impressive. Fireproof Game salutes me. Well, great. Uh, from all of us at uh, Fireproof Games, thank you very much for playing The Room 3. Hope you enjoyed it. I quite did. Uh, work hard to uh, create unique experiences which offer our players something new and nothing means more to us than people enjoying the, uh, these efforts, those efforts. Uh, as a small independent games developer, our future depends on your endorsement and what we make. If you enjoy our work, and want to see more games like The Room 3, please rate our game in the store. I sincerely value any support and feedback you can give. Uh, so yes, that is The Room 3. Um, like I said, it, it wasn't very high in the scope of like the ones that came before it. I found like 1 and 2 to be a little bit more memorable, but maybe I was just being a little bit too hard on The Room 3. Uh, going through it again, it definitely was uh, unique. I did like the aspect of um, it being sort of like a central place that you sort of investigate uh, throughout. Um, although I think some of the puzzles that were sort of unlocking uh, sort of like the, the lighthouse and the bell tower and the observatory, like the power and all those tend to get redundant, and maybe that's why it sort of lessened in my mind, but it was still unique and uh, kept me sort of wondering where I would need to go next in terms of solving whatever puzzles it, it had. And it did offer quite some unique ones. Um, that being said, <laughs> I think of the four that... Uh, are now on my channel. I've played through all of them. Uh, I think the old sins sort of sticks out the most. Um, I do tend to like that sort of investigation, um, especially when it's all one big thing. And uh, yes, you sort of go into different pockets of various rooms to sort of solve more puzzles, but at least um, it seems a little bit more, I don't know, whole in a sense. I don't know if that's a the right term but you know what of the four games that uh, i've now played on my channel uh that one sticks out as being i guess my favorite uh i can't fault like one was the thing that the game that started all off so <laughs> there's always going to be a little special place in my heart for it uh, but all four games are quite enjoyable and you know what they go on sale regularly so there's no reason why anyone who doesn't have a mobile device or uh, they're even offered on PC, so if this looks like the type of game that is sort of um, something that you would enjoy, I would recommend purchasing any or all of the room games. Uh, they're quite unique that way. Uh, all that being said, <laughs> now it just sort of dawns on me of uh, what I would play for uh, my next birthday. I sort of um, left the last three to sort of cover rooms one, two, and three. Um, the only thought I had was to maybe go into the old sins, not as a, like a proper playthrough, because I've done that. Um, but would it be unique or, you know, challenging for me to try sort of a speed run for old sins? Like, can I polish that off in, uh, you know, hour and a half or an hour or something lickety split like that? Uh, let me know if that sort of intrigues you guys, and if not, maybe suggest something else. Um, if there's a game series that uh, um, that sort of holds that little sort of special place uh, that is offered on mobile, um, but you know what, <laughs> I got uh, I got a couple of months to think about it, so you know I'm sure I'll come up with something by then. Um, if you enjoyed this playthrough of The Room 3. Um, I offer go check out the other Room games on my channel. Like I said, I've played all of them now. 
Um, Old Sins is sort of like <laughs> one of the first ones that sort of started the channel off and uh, had done pretty good in terms of uh, viewing. So um, hopefully that uh, that uh, sort of scratches your itch because that came after this game. Um, but you know what? You can't fault the classics, Room 1 and 2. Uh, go see those. I had a blast playing the, through those as well. If you enjoyed this video, hit that like button, leave me a comment, and subscribe to my channel for more mobile gaming goodness. Because you'll never know what I'll be playing next. This has been Shin Virtuality. Game on, have fun, and I'll catch you in the next one. Thanks for watching, everyone. Bye.